I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. Provide the incentives that will help people get into new, greener habits. And this is what behavior analysis is all about. I mean, what do yeah. we do with our animals? What do we do with uh, human training, right? Uh, so mm -hmm. much of it is about new hand. What do we do with ourselves, right? We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise. In this world, there's room for everyone. The good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. And terror attack rocking Somalia. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women and children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. Once we decided that somebody's blameworthy, there's a whole bunch of stuff we're supposed to do to them. Teach them a lesson, show them their comeuppance. Uh, we can shame them, blame them, label them, psychiatrize them, psychologize them, pathologize them, medicate them, take away their honors and awards. We can take away some of their freedoms. We can take away all their freedoms. We can uh, institutionalize them. We can put them in jail. We can put them in prison. If it's serious enough, well, we can just put them to death. We can wage war in the country where they reside. It's a way of thinking, blame and punish. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. And it wasn't just inscribed on a tablet somewhere thousands of years ago when human beings first showed up. They invented it as a way of dealing with each other. And it's the worst mistake human beings ever made. It's behind all the horrible things humans do to humans. It's behind all the wars, it's behind all the assassinations, all the pogroms, all the genocides, the Holocaust, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, behind all the divorces, most of the child abuse, all the nasty things that family members do to family members, all the, all the conflict between colleague and colleague. And our way of thinking transforms all that into something quite a bit more powerful and humane. It's just that there's only thousands of us and there are billions of people that think that old way. This is all about getting into better habits. We have a science and behavior analysis is a big part of the science that applies to making that effective. And so it's, a, a, again, I think there's a lot of cause for hope and behavioral science, as is increasingly recognized in the climate change community, is going to be an essential part. This way that we think, it's only been around about 100 years. That old way has been around for thousands of years. So we have a mission, and that mission is to get this new way of thinking out to the world. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. 
by the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power. But they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness.